Assalamu alaikum. Today I am here again with another interesting topic which you may or may not be knowing. So let me begin with this question. Do you know what is literal and figurative language? Quite confused, right? Probably you did not get what I mean to ask you. So let me tell you, literal and figurative language is a distinction within some fields of language analysis, in particular stylistic, rhetoric and semantics. Urdu Zaban mein rhetoric ko fasahat aur balagat kaha jata hai. Iski maina shirin kalam, baland parwazi, khush bayani aur ala dimaghi ki hai. فنِ بلاغت سے آپ اپنی بات کو دوسروں تک انتہائی خوبصورت اور انتہائی مؤثر انداز سے پہنچا سکتے ہیں جس سے وہ بات لوگوں کے دلوں میں اتر جاتی ہے Are you still confused? Okay, then I give you some visual examples to understand it more vividly. Do you like this view of earth where it is barren and seems to be empty? Kya sach mein aapko ye nazara khoobsurat lagta hai jahan par zameen khali, veeran aur banjar nazar aa rahi hai? Or would you like this beautiful landscape where the view is so enchanting, where the fresh, clear streams flow down through the high and strong mountains? with the green grass, plants and trees all around. Kya aapko ye nazara khubsurat nahi lagta? If you are still confused to understand what do I mean, let me give you a human example. Do you think the articles in these drawers can really make a difference in the personality of a woman? If yes, then now you are able to understand what do I mean to teach you today. As the makeup articles can enhance the beauty of a person, landscapes can increase the charm and beauty of land or earth. Figures of speech do much the similar thing to beautify your language and to make it more impressive and persuasive. Zaban ki fasahat aur balawat ki se bhi zaban ko aam zaban se umda اور پھر وقار بنا دیتی ہے اس لیے ہم فگرز آف اسپیچ کو اگر کسی زبان کا زیور کہیں تو یہ ہرگز غلط نہیں ہوگا کیونکہ یہ کسی بھی زبان کو خوبصورت بنا سکتی ہے It is literal language versus figurative language Believe me, you will really enjoy it a lot to learn because it is worth knowing So, let's get started Literal language conveys the conventional meaning of the words. They give clear-cut meaning which is quite easy to understand. یہ لغوی معنی ہوتی ہے جس میں الفاظ انتہائی سادہ انداز میں کہے جاتے ہیں جس کو سمجھنا بہت ہی آسان ہوتا ہے اور جو الفاظ استعمال کیے جاتے ہیں ان کی معنی exactly وہی ہوتی ہے جو سامنے ظاہر ہوتی ہے اس لیے literal language کو سمجھنا بلکل بھی مشکل بات نہیں ہوتی ناؤ لک ایٹ دس ایگزامپل اف سم ون ایسک یو لیٹس ہیو اے کپ آف ٹی اٹ مینس یو ہیو گاٹ این انویٹیشن فار ٹیکنگ اے کپ آف ٹی ٹوگیدر اس کا مطلب ہے آپ کو چائے کی دعوت دی جا رہی ہے یقین کریں اس کے علاوہ آپ کے ذہن میں اور کوئی بات نہیں آئے گی کیونکہ یہ جملہ بہت ہی سادہ الفاظ میں سادہ انداز میں سادہ سی معنی کو کنوے کرتا ہے اس لیے اس کو لٹرل لینگویج کہا جائے گا جس میں الفاظ بالکل وہی بات بتاتے ہیں جو کہ سامنے الفاظ میں ظاہر ہو رہا ہے ناؤ آن دا کانٹری دا کیس از ڈفرینٹ ود فگریٹو لینگویج 
You may take this to be a non-literal language which uses words in such a way that deviates you from the conventional meaning. Thus, it gets quite complicated to understand them. Because alphas, which are visible to the eyes, their meaning is not given to each other. اس لیے اس طرح کے الفاظ کو سمجھنا بہت مشکل ہوتا ہے ناؤ ٹیک دس ایگزامپل جسٹ تھنک فار اے وائل اف یو ہیئر دا ایڈیم اے فش آؤٹ آف واٹر فار دا ویری فرسٹ ٹائم دین واٹ یو وڈ بی ایکسپیکٹنگ دا میننگ ٹو بی لائک دس رائٹ وی آر اے فش از رائڈنگ آؤٹ آف واٹر ٹو گیٹ بیک ان If you really mean so, you are wrong. It is actually an idiom which means a person in a completely unsuitable environment or situation. This means that the person in any situation is in the middle of the situation, is not happy and wants to get out of it. This was all about the difference between literal and figurative language. I hope By this time, you would have understood what I mean to tell you about the difference between literal and figurative language. So, let's move ahead now. So, here we go to learn what makes figurative language so impressive, effective and persuasive. It is the figures of a speech. It is the most essential part of a figurative language. in any piece of literature, be it written or spoken. Hey, we need to stop here because so far we have not defined what literature is. So here you are. The word literature is derived from Latin word literatura, which means a writing formed with letters. Or we may say that anything which is present in written form is called literature. But here we need to take a pause again because literature existed even in the ancient times when there was no account of written language. Then literature was no more than a speech which was orally transmitted from one generation to another. Literature usually has many forms. Some of the famous forms of literature are poetry, prose, drama, fiction and there are so many other forms of literature as well. Here is more about literature. Can we really call any piece of writing to be literature? No, not so. Because literature can be called to only such kind of piece of writing which bears artistic taste in it. And it has got some aesthetic pleasure for its readers. It may moralize them, it may teach them, it may give them various lessons, It may teach them ethics and the code, code of life and so many other things. So these two basic qualities are very essential to be in a literature. Lastly, I give you yet another beautiful definition of literature. Literature holds a mirror up to life. It means whatever is happening in our surroundings, Literature is a true representation of all which is observed in our social and private lives. It gives us true picture of reality. हमारे मौसरे में हमारे इर्द गिर्द हमारे आस पास जो भी होता है लिटरेचर उसको कलम बंद करके हमारे लिए महफूज करके हम तक पहुँचाता है इसको लिटरेचर कहा जाता है After knowing the definitions of literature, we should know what are the useful devices to produce such magnificent masterpieces. These are actually figures of speech, which are actually literary devices, or we may call them to be the rhetorical devices. 
the most commonly used figures of speech are simile metaphor alliteration personification hyperbole irony oxymoron imagery onomatopoeia idiom symbolism and so many others very soon i will be discussing all of them one by one in my next videos to come for learning more with me stay tuned subscribe to my channel like and share with your friends see up take care allah hafiz